If you're looking for great gaming services, head on over to AHMLB and make sure you use code FET for 5% off your order. What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody is having a blessed day so far. Today we're going to go over who you should have invested for the upcoming roster update in the next 48 hours and who has the best potential to go diamond and then when you should sell in this video. But first let's give a shout out to the MVPs. We're going to start off with the MVP elites, Dexter, Panita, and Raymond Edwards. Those are the two MVP elites. Every time an MVP elite comments down below, you will see a heart and a pin next to their comment for the first 10 to 24 hours on every single video. Now, the regular MVPs. We got Big H Gamer, JM, Elizabeth, Carmichael, and John Panzilla for the regular MVPs. But everybody that comes to the channel drops a like on the video. I appreciate every single one of y'all. Let's get into today's banger. Look good, feel good. That's the key to life. Go down in the link in the description and get your merchandise today. Use code MVP10 for 10% off your order from today through August 2nd. We got fresh and fly gear, every single flavor, t-shirts, v-necks, hoodies, leggings for the ladies. Anything that you need is down in the link in the description. Shout out to all the MVPs. Roll to 10K. So in this video, we're going to cover a couple things. So sit back, relax, get comfortable, and we're going to go over how you can either sell off today and make a lot of stubs, or you can take that chance and hope that SDS bumps up every single investment that you guys have. I don't really need any more cards in the game. All I really care about is having a lot of stubs. So if you're looking for a way to make a lot of stubs, in the next 24 to 48 hours, you are at the right place. So through this video, I'm about to walk you through all the people that I'm planning on selling over the next 24 hours to take my guaranteed profit. The reason why I plan on cashing out 80% of my investments over the next 24 hours, a lot of them as soon as this video is over, is because SDS announced another stub sale is going on this week. I'm gonna be smart this week and I'm gonna take my guaranteed profit. So looking at my inventory, we have 20 of the Anthony Descalafinis. We have 12 of the Mikes and 24 of the Jake McGee's. I'm gonna lose the 10% off of each one of these cards. So it's gonna be 88 off of this card, 101 off of this card, and 95 off of this card. I'm gonna have guaranteed profit. So the next card is this Ryan McMahon. He's up to 825 stubs. I have 54 of these. I told y'all about a month ago to invest in Ryan McMahon. It's not always about who has the best chance to get upgraded, but it is always about who can make you profit. Another investment is this Giovanni Galagos. Now, he's at 4,300. I'm gonna be patient and let him get to about 45 to 4,600, meaning that when they take the 10% tax off, I can still be in the 4,000s for all 58 of them that I sell, okay? Now, another long-term investment is this 80 overall Harrison Bader. I have 31 of them, so that's a bonus in this video. Go out and get you 15 to 20 of them while he's still pretty cheap. Paul Goldsmith, he's 1,085. That's over the 80 overall gold quick sale. I'm going to cash out on them. It don't matter about the taxes. Adam Frazier and his brand Reynolds on the Pirates. Now my Richard Rodriguez's, I got rid of him when he was in the 650s, 700s. So if you hold on to some Richard Rodriguez's, go ahead and sell them off right now at 565. The day of the roster update, you can go back and scoop him up. Now the Adam Frazier's and the Brian Reynolds, I'm going to hold them for the long haul after the roster update. If they don't get the plus two or the plus three, like some people are starting to think, I will scoop them up when they are a little lower price. My Freddy Peraltas, he's at 4994 That's so close to the 5000 quick sale. I'm going to go ahead and sell 25 of these off. I'm going to lose a little bit of stubs, but overall, I'm still going to have guaranteed profit. And then I'm going to hold the other 25 to 27. Hopefully, he gets that plus one that he deserves. This Garcia, I have 22 of them, 999 stubs. If you have any of these investments, like I've been telling y'all, you've been following the videos, 
cash out on all these cards that are close to the quick sale. You don't have to, you can hold on to them and take that risk. But I'm gonna cash out because I got 361,195 stubs right now. Now, when I get done selling off everything, by tomorrow's video, you will see me at least 800,000 or a little over a million. And we're not gonna go through every single card. I'm still gonna have about 250 to 300,000 stubs that I'm not gonna cash out, but I'm gonna take my guaranteed profit put it in my pocket, and we going to Kazumi's and eat some Japanese later. Now there's Javier Baez, I have 45 of them, and he's under 2,000. So the least I can do is take my guaranteed stubs, make about 600, 700,000 profit, and then I can reinvest into him, and I can end up with about 90 to 100 of them for when he does go diamond. Sagara, I have 29 of them. He's priced under 2000 so I know that at the next roster update, if he doesn't get the boost, I can go back and buy him for cheap. He's already 1036 I can go get myself 20 to 25 of them. That would put me in a better position for the next roster update to make a lot of stubs all over again. 26 of these 83 overall Peter Lonzo's. I'm going to cash out on them. It's a very good chance that he does go diamond but at 4600 stubs i don't want to miss out on the guarantee profit now this mitch hanniger 78 overall still has a good opportunity to get the plus two i have 29 of them he needs a two point boost and he's well over the thousand quick sales so this right here lets you know this is a great investment you can still go in right now for 500 stubs and make about a 400 profit on every single investment also Salvador Perez he's starting to trend up a little bit he was in the 2000s now he's getting close to 34.99 he was at about 3600 at one point or 3700 I sold off a lot of them earlier today okay so I have six of them left and I'm gonna hold the rest of these six until he can get boosted up to 3,800 or 4,000. And then I will cash out Tiascar Hernandez. I'm going to sell him off. He's 49.55. I'm going to take that little 10% tax. I'm going to sell him off. And then this Bo Bichette is at almost 4,700. I'm going to sell him off. And then we have George Springers. I have two of them. I'm going to sell them off. But if y'all enjoyed the video, Drop a like on the video. Don't be a hater your whole life. I hope this helped you out. If you got people already close to the quick sell threshold, then go ahead, make that decision, and at least take half and get your guaranteed stubs so you are not stumped when Friday comes around and you don't get the upgrades that you was expecting. If y'all rocking with me, you know I got y'all. Go ahead and cash out.